All right, well, welcome into another extra segment here. We're talking about the little screech owls and that photo that I took of the red morph that I really liked. So I thought I would do a little extra segment here where we could talk about the whole experience and uh, maybe just look at the photo a little bit and uh, I can have another tasty beverage while we uh, hang out here. <laughs> so. I'm definitely liking this tradition where we kind of just hang out and have a beer and talk about owls. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, let's talk about the Eastern Screech Owls, um, particularly the ones that were up in uh, Fort Collins where the Red Morph was. Um, and this is also in the same park. Um, and I, I showed some of the video here. And this had been the big photo that everyone had been going up and getting um, recently because, yeah, this little gray... This little gray screech owl would sit here and sleep right in this little hole. And it's so great because he would most of the time when he stands up a little bit taller, his ears actually go up right into the little parts of this uh, hole in the tree. So it, it looks like this little perfect owl shaped cutout of this tree. And um, it's made some really, really good shots. Um, so he was obviously there when I was there, um, but he wasn't filling out the uh, owl shaped hole <laughs> for the ideal photo. And people had seen the red one in this uh, spot too. Um, but from what I could tell, not in a while, or at least not in like, I don't know, it'd been like a week or something like that since the red one had been uh, kind of visible. And it was kind of thought, I think, is that this is a mated pair, the gray and the red. And the red one is actually in here on the nest with eggs. So that's why the red one hasn't been out in a while. But now people are thinking, well, maybe it's the other way around and the gray one is like the female and the red one is the male. Like from what I was talking to the f to other photographers that were up there, it was just kind of just unknown or maybe they're not even a mated pair. Like, they, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a lot of people know. Um, if someone does know for sure on this, please correct me. But just from what I was talking to the people up there uh, the day that I was doing this, um, people were kind of like, yeah, I don't really know what's going on. But anyway, so when I got up to Fort Collins, this was the shot that I thought I was going to get. I was like, cool, I want to go see the tree with the, the owl-shaped hole. And I would say this gray owl here is probably the most photographed owl in the state of Colorado. Like, everybody has gotten this shot. And like I said, I had just kind of been lazy and hadn't driven all the way up to Fort Collins to do it. So that was my plan for this day. Um, I did not know in a million years that the red one was going to be out and active and flying around and hunting and all that stuff. So um, when I when I got to the spot, um, you know, I, I again, this is a very well-known area or you know, where these owls are. So I was able to walk just right to it. And as I was walking down the little path, um, I noticed there was a bunch of photographers and they were all pointed back into the trees, not up at like where I thought this would be. And uh, I kind of looked by and like of all the photographers there, I, did, I didn't know any of them. So I, I wasn't like, oh, hey. <laughs> but I still kind of walked over there and I was looking and this lady looked at me and she's like, the red one. And I'm like, oh, no way. So I get my camera out and I'm kneeling down. And um, that was that, uh, I think that second shot where um, it was just kind of back towards the trunk of the tree and um, I didn't get a very good shot because, like I said, there was a bunch of other people. So they had kind of taken up the good spots. So I was kind of just pointing through and then it flew. Um, and so we all kind of backed off and um, it had landed on this other tree, which is where I got my shot. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look here. So, um, yeah, it had landed back in all of these sort of snags and branches and I found this little perch. And like when I first took the shot, like I was like, oh cool. I think I, I had this little window in and this time I got like a good spot amongst all of the photographers. And I was like, cool, I'm gonna get a little good spot here. And, um, and again, I'm all the way in at 600 millimeters here. So uh, I know it looks close, but I actually wasn't really that close. and. Um, there were all these little branches and snags to contend with. And um, it was dark back in there when I first started shooting. And so I was messing with 
you know, ice. I was trying to bump my ISO up and so I could get faster speeds, you know, faster shutter speeds because the first couple shots I took were a little blurry and so I was really just trying to dial this in and kind of trial and error as I was shooting. And um, all of a sudden the sunlight came through. This is about 4 p.m. Um, the sunlight came through and it was just like, it was like a spotlight just came right through and hit this owl as I was sitting back, way back in these branches. And I just, I just couldn't believe it. And I did, I bumped, I think you'll notice in the, I put the, I put all the settings. I had nudged up my exposure compensation just a little bit to get that little extra pop in here. And, um, man, I, I just, I couldn't believe it. And of course I'm snapping away and I'm, I'm just, just firing shots off. And, um, because the owl had, when it would land on a branch or a perch, it wouldn't stay there very long. So I was just firing away and uh, so was everybody that was there. It was, it was, it was crazier than I thought it was going to, I didn't think there was going to be that many people there, but there were, but, um, and yeah, it just made this image. And when I looked at it on the back of the camera, I was mostly looking just to like, make sure that I had gotten my shutter speeds up fast enough that I wasn't getting like blur. And I, 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 I was pretty sharp. <laughs> and so, um, I was just, I was so happy about that. And then it flew and we kind of backed off again and kind of waited to see where it was. And it had flown back into some really thick branches that you, I mean, I had to throw my camera on my tripod and I really had to go into manual exposure or manual focus mode to really dial in to see if I could get some shots of it back you know, behind like just all these branches. And, um, as soon as I finally got locked in, uh, with manual focus, it flew again and I was like, dang it. So we, we walked and, uh, and that's where I got those other shots, you know, in the video where it was on that perch and it was kind of looking around and then staring down. And, um, I, I stopped doing video cause it looked like it was about to like take off and dive to hunt and it did. So I snapped a bunch of shots as it was, you know, flying away. And, um, unfortunately the light had just gotten low enough that my photos are, are, I mean, they're not terrible, but they're, they're kind of blurry. Um, but they're not even good enough that I featured them in the video, but, um, so yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, I was there for probably about, again, I, I don't like to go to these places and sit there all day. Like, I don't think that's good behavior. Um, I don't think that's good for the owl. Um, I kind of like to go in get my shots, be, <laughs> you know, be respectful, be, you know, all the etiquette. Um, but then I like to leave cause I don't want to, again, I just don't want to be sitting there for, you know, 10 hours all day. Like someone had said they had been doing, which I don't agree with, but anyways, it's a free country, I guess, but I wouldn't do that. But anyways, yeah. So like I said, when I first took the shot, I, um, again, on the back of the camera, I, just, I thought it looked pretty good, but it wasn't until I, I got home that night and then I had to work the next morning. And so it was finally Monday night after work when I was like, oh, okay, time to dump this memory card and just start going through this stuff. And when I saw this shot, I was just like, oh no, I was like, oh no. So, um, I think here's like an unedited version. So again, it was, uh, I had to obviously, so what I kind of wanted to do, um, on the edit was I wanted to darken um, sort of the, this background. Because like I said, that light was coming through, almost seemed like it was shining like a spotlight, you know, on the on the owl. And um, actually, and here's another edit I did too that's cropped in just a little bit more. But um, I really wanted to try to make the image have that feeling of like, um, we're sort of pulling back the curtain a little bit and we're seeing this owl sort of, you know, behind all these branches and stuff, we're not supposed to see the owl. And so we're kind of exposing that a little bit. We're pulling the curtain back and we just get this little window in to see, you know, this guy sitting here and the sun is just like spotlighting him up. And it just felt like it was a really immersive photo. So I feel like when you see this, I hope, I guess my hope is that you feel like you're standing here with me, like right looking right over my shoulder and we're just like, 
whoa. And we get that cool little shot in here. And um, I think darkening the background kind of over here on the on the left and the right, um, again, sort of really highlights that sunlight just kind of seeping through and just this perfect angle <laughs> where it's just, I couldn't believe it. And um, seeing the really dark branches here or the that are kind of covered in dirt and mud. And then he's this bright orange. And so I think that contrast between the dark and the light really worked. And um, yeah, just had this little perfect look into this guy's little world. <laughs> and he was probably sitting there going, God, I wish all these people would just leave me alone. And uh, yeah, so. <laughs> but that's the photo. And uh, again, it was very surprising to me. Because uh, like I said, when I, when I originally took it, um, I was like, oh yeah, there's some great shots. And even I think I left in the video when I was leaving for Collins, I was like, oh man, this was so great. Um, but I didn't know, um, until I got home, um, just how good that the shot was. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys like it too. Um, I, I, of course I always, like I said in the intro of the video, you know, I, I, don't like being like, oh, this is my best shot, or this is the best shot, or this is one of my greatest hits, or whatever. Because, you know, I, I, I never know how other people are going to see it. Like, other people may look at this and be like, eh, it's okay. I mean, I wouldn't, <laughs> it's not that good. But I think it's pretty good. And again, you know, for just the weekend warrior amateur photographer that I am, um, you know, I th this is definitely something that I'm personally probably going to get a print of to put up here in my house somewhere. Maybe it'll be in the background <laughs> on the wall, all my other just random art that I get. But, um, yeah, I really like the shot. So I was super happy. And, um, yeah, the other stop. So I made that day I left and I stopped at the first owl that you saw in the video in the little cavity in the tree, uh, which was in Arvada. And then there had been another screech owl seen recently up near Boulder. Um, so I actually did go to a third location. Um, but I, so I went to the, I went to the spot in Boulder I actually required like a pretty long hike back to the spot where the owl had been seen. And so I walked all the way back there and there were a few other photographers there, um, who kind of knew the spot too. And, um, they were like, yeah, it's not here. It was here this morning. And I see the little cavity in the tree where it had been. And, uh, yeah, one guy is like, yeah, I've been waiting here for like an hour and a half to see if it'll maybe come back out or if it flew and is coming back. He's like, but I haven't seen anything. And by that point I knew I was then going to Fort Collins from Boulder, which is like, you know, 45 minutes, an hour. Um, so like, like always, I'm always racing against the sun. So I was like, well, I'm not going to hang out too long. So I left the spot in Boulder and then went to Fort Collins where I got this. So that all worked out pretty well. <laughs> and again, I, I mentioned the video that I almost turned around and went home. Um, after, after Boulder was kind of a miss, I was like, well, we got the, we got the owl down in Arvada and that's made some great shots and some good videos. So I don't know. Do I really want to drive all the way up to Fort Collins and, or do I want to turn around and just, I could probably get home in enough time to, you know, watch the Super Bowl. I was going to make some wings drink some, drink some beer, <laughs> watch the game. I was like, man, that sounds pretty good. And I was like, but man, I'm already, I'm already this far up here. I was like, I might as well just go to Fort Collins. So, um, I did and, uh, yeah, I'm glad. So, um, anyways, uh, that is the shot. And again, kind of what I was thinking on the edit was, uh, you know, it made me sort of think like, like I showed this photo to somebody and they said, it's a great photo, and that's definitely your style. And I was like, oh, it's my style. And I was like, it made me start thinking about, like, like I, I have a lot of other photographer friends that are always sort of, that's a struggle, is like, well, what's my style? Like, what kind of style do I shoot? And I know other photographers who, like, I can see a photo, and I know it's them because of the style. And so it made me think about, like, well, what's, what is my style? And, um, I think, I think I know what my style is. <laughs> so I think my style is, I used the word earlier in this, where I said, um, it's immersive. 
Um, and like I said, when I, I want a photo that will always grab somebody's attention, of course. Um, but I don't want it to be over the top and I don't want it to be too fantastical. Um, like I don't want it to, like, I want it to look realistic and like, I feel like the way you can do edits on this, um, to make that immersive feeling, um, as again, so I, I want you to feel like you're there right next to me and we're both taking this photo and, um, that's my style. And I, I don't need to catch the owl in the in, in the middle of a swoop down grabbing a mouse to eat. I don't need to capture like a bird in the middle of their takeoff, you know, thing. Like this owl here is it's almost sort of a minimal kind of photo, I guess, where it's just chilling, but it's got this moment where, like I said, that light comes in and all of the the surroundings like make that great contrast. And this to me, it's a realistic looking photo. It's not like overdone. It's not too fantastic, you know, fantastical style. And so I think that's my style. It's something that catches your attention, but still looks realistic and doesn't look overdone. And it makes you feel like you're there. That's my style. So, um, yeah. But anyways, um, I think I'm just going to end the video there. A little bit shorter extra segment. I don't have too much ton uh, else going on. Um, I am going out to Bar Lake tomorrow to shoot eagles with my friend Rose. Um, she has a really good audio recorder, which I don't have. I've always wanted to get one. <laughs> and so um, she's got a great audio recorder. So we're going to go out to Bar Lake tomorrow. And I'm going to do a bunch of stuff with the eagles. And I'm going to hope that she can help me record some really cool audio out at Bar Lake tomorrow. So um, we're going to do that. That'll be cool. And uh, I, that will probably be the next video because <laughs> I'm going to do a bunch of video stuff too for it and try to vlog or do something about the whole experience out there at Bar Lake. Um, and that's doing that tomorrow. And then um, over the weekend, I don't know what's going on. Um, I said this has kind of taken all of my time this week with editing and then getting this video together. So, um, I'm not sure what I have going on this weekend, but, um, yeah, the Eagle video will be cool. Um, that should be coming soon. So, uh, look out for that. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I got. Other than that, then we've got Arizona coming up here in like a couple weeks. So obviously we're going to do, I'm going to do a bunch of stuff from Arizona. I've got tons of ideas, um, stuff I'm going to do there. So, uh, yeah. Look forward to that coming up here soon. And uh, I've been getting a decent amount of new subscribers on the YouTube channel um, and a lot of new follows on Instagram too. So I appreciate all that stuff. Um, you know, like I said, I do this totally just as a side hobby. Um, I don't make any sort of money at this. <laughs> this is just totally for fun. Um, but yeah, so I appreciate all the new subscribers and all the new followers on the gram and uh yeah, I may I may actually do a short, <laughs> like an actual planned out short, um, which I'll be honest, shorts, like reels on Instagram, I, I know this is the boomer in me, but I cannot stand them. I hate them so much, but I'm going to, I'm going to play the game and I'm going to give, I'm going to give one a shot here. So look for that also soon. So anyways, um, until the next time, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, talk to you later. Bye.